Hi, I'm Kate from Music Gateway. Today, we're gonna dive into some music theory and have a little look at chord progressions. Now, what is a chord progression? Chord progressions are also known as chord sequences. They are like the building blocks of any song. A chord progression is a series or succession of chords. With an almost unlimited possibility of chord combinations, songwriters can create progressions to portray an array of emotions. However, there are a few very popular chord progressions that we recommend you start out with. The 12 bar blues. The 12 bar blues is an extremely popular progression. Now, aside from blues, it's also used in a variety of other genres, such as pop, rock, and R&B. The 12 bar blues is built from the first, fourth, and fifth degrees of a scale, also known as the tonic, subdominant, and dominant, which are their technical names. Let's have a quick look at the C major scale. C is the first degree. It's the tonic, it's where we begin. And then we simply go up to the fourth degree, which in this scale is F, and then the fifth degree, which in this scale is G. So there we have it. Our 12 bar blues will be made up of the following chords, C, F, and G. A 12 bar blues is a popular choice for its frequent tension and release. It's also a really good starting point for beginners as it allows for improvisation of a multitude of music scales and melodies. Right, next up, pop chord progressions. Now, unlike the 12 bar blues, pop music isn't restricted to one chord progression. However, there are some common go-to major chord progressions that we often see. Now, have you ever heard of the four chord song? The four chord song is made up of the chords major first, major fifth, minor sixth, and major fourth degrees of a scale. So again, using our C major scale as an example, our pop chord progression will be C, G, A minor, and F. This chord progression is often used in pop music and it can be found in a very, very, very long list of popular songs. Right, that's enough from me for now. If you wanna find out more though, you can check out the link in the description below for a guide on how to write your own chord progressions in your songwriting and to see more of the theory unraveled. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And goodbye for now and keep being creative guys.